Hello and welcome to another video about Cardano. In this video, I would like to talk about the Cardano price, the Bitcoin price, because there is a pivotal moment at the moment for Bitcoin. Something will be happening very shortly and I'm going to talk about that. And when that is happening, that could have a major impact on Cardano as well. So that is why at the moment everything is moving sort of sideways. We are still at the same level that we were like 12 hours ago in that 20 to 20 range of Cardano. Bitcoin also between 46 and a half and 47,000 pretty much. So there is something going to happen. And if it is a bullish or bearish move, I'm going to talk you through that. Everything else looking fine, you know, sort of moving sideways at the moment, which is also always healthy, you know, having sideways moves, which confirms supports levels and just makes everything a little bit more stable instead of just going up. Winner of the day for me still Ripple XRP. 135 now i mean i've been talking about ripple when it was 75 cents on this channel still believe it's a good price so you can come to your own conclusions about that and let's have a quick look before we move to the cardano price let's have a look at bitcoin and then after cardano i'd also like to show you some on-chain data on-chain metrics which can be quite interesting for any Cardano holder. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. And what is very interesting to see here is that we have this rising wedge forming. So basically what that means is that the pro we see higher highs, we see higher lows, but the volume is decreasing, which you can see down here. Volume is decreasing, which, is me which means that this, the, um, the new highs are getting lower. Yeah, we still see higher highs, but the distance from the previous high is getting smaller, which then can also be seen on the um, RSI. So the RSI, that means the RSI is actually making lower lows. No, sorry, it's actually making lower highs, sorry. If the RSI is making lower highs, it indicates yeah, that there could be potentially a move um, to the downside, or at least it means that the price is sort of stabilizing, but that the actual price is making um, not necessarily lower highs, but that the distance is getting smaller and the volume is decreasing. So the momentum, you know, it's more, it's the RSI is a momentum indicator. So it means that the momentum is getting slower, it's slowing down, and then this rising wedge is forming, which is, what does it mean? A rising wedge is normally a bearish pattern but when you see that pattern, you need to find out, is it actually a real pattern or is it just a disguise? Now, what you do to the, for that, you have a look if the volume is really decreasing, which it is, indicating it is a real um, pattern. Next thing you do, you take a look with your Fibonacci retracement levels and you take a look from the recent, the, the beginning of the recent uptrend and the beginning of the last downtrend and you move it in this area here and the corridor and you take a look if we are below the 0.5 Fibonacci level, it indicates that it is a real pattern. If we're above the 0.5 or way above the 0.5, it indicates that it's not a real pattern and it could be a disguise. Now, what can we see? <laughs> we can actually see that we're directly at the 0.5 Fibonacci level, which is here at the current level 46797 by magic we are really at this level at the moment so it's not very clear if it's a real pattern which is why i don't nobody can knows anyway but which i'm a bit unclear about what is going to happen what i can tell you is that if we we are not way above the 0.5 fibonacci which indicates to me it is a real pattern and as it's a real pattern we could see a move to the downside possibly today or in the next few days, I mean, this is a daily chart, so it could move on for a little bit, but I don't think it will much longer. You can see the yellow line, which you might not be able to see very clearly. It's just running at this 44, 45 and a half level as well, just below the current price, is acting as major support as well. We've been fighting around the 200 day moving average now since the 7th of August and it's taken a week now we're not be we're not able to really break out to the upside at the moment it, should we break below the 200 day moving average it wouldn't be great um, 
it it's it, it it's not great then um, because we are then still again below this in this major this major support level now next stop would be for me this 20 day moving average which is currently at around 42 and a half thousand that will then act as support and it could mean that yeah for the next yeah potentially couple of days we could be in that ascending wedge triangle forming moving to the apex which then would mean volume would further decrease and volatility as well but it's interesting so it's really at a pivotal moment nobody can predict what's going to happen but i wanted to prepare you for that that something is coming and that could have an impact on the cardano price as well because with cardano here on the four hour chart i talked to you yesterday about that we've got something similar forming i mean we've got this major 225 level not necessarily a major one but we've touched that now um, since yesterday morning not able to get through the 225 and we've tested that i told you yesterday evening we have a loss in momentum so we would potentially move a little bit to the downside now nothing major and we are doing that now as i showed you because the rsi told me we were lo losing momentum and on the four hour chart the macd was l moving into the red as well i told you that doesn't need to be for long could just be something that we've seen here on the 12th of august just a few red um red bars here on the histogram like here where the blue line was crossing the orange line and it, it doesn't mean too much on the four hour chart but just shows that it's cooling down a little bit still in overbought territory on the four hour chart which means yeah we are sort of consolidating slightly on the four hour chart nothing major but i extended that 20 day moving average yesterday here with that line just to show you there is a triangle forming as well and we're now trading between the 225 support a uh, resistance and this 20 day moving average and this coincides well with what's happening on the bitcoin price where for the next couple of days we are also moving towards that apex so i believe i predict cardano is going to do what bitcoin is doing i don't think you know if bitcoin is moving down i don't think that cardano will decouple itself from bitcoin in a way that it will just move up despite the upcoming alonso hard fork i don't think it will i think it will still fairly well do what bitcoin is doing but it would be a nice surprise if it moves up nobody can predict that but if bitcoin is moving down i predict cardano will enter a slight consolidation as well which would be actually a good thing i think it would be good i'm looking forward to that first of all would give me the possibility to buy more ada coins at better price and also it would just allow us to get more power and energy before moving to the all-time high because if we're running out of steam the all-time high might be lower than expected so i think it would be good to see a few red candles here that'd be nice now let's move on have a look at the at some of the on-chain metrics just some of the information that you might be interested in as cardano holders there was a good feedback from some of the other charts i showed you in the last few days or yesterday especially some of the on-chain data some different charts some different indicators um, some more of, of the fundamental stuff or what's actually happening on chain and um, or some other other information than just you know price charts because they taken by themselves you know if you're just a tenet technical analyst that that can be good but i think with bitcoin there's also a little bit more to it so purely technically yes that's fine but i also want to have a look at what's happening in the background i am my cardano is my biggest holding so i want to know what's going on you know and i believe that would be useful for you as well we can see i don't want to show you all of these it would just take forever but i'll pick out a few of the interesting charts and indicators and developments so first one i want to show you is here about um, financial indicators so the first one financial indicator is i wanted to show you how many people are actually in profit and here we can see um, in and out of the money if you're in the money it means you're in profit so we've got nearly 100k of addresses in the money that's 82 percent and 20k of addresses out of the money that's 17 percent and then we've got a few which are at the money so at the current price most of people without a lot of surprise are in the money if you're out of the money it means you bought at the recent all-time high but in the next few days and weeks i suppose we will see a new all-time high which would then mean that more and more people will be in the money right um i'm just going to scroll through here 
So we can also see that, um, I'll just pick out a few as I said that are interesting. Historically being in the money, so the green level here shows when people were in profit and it's always going up and down. It always shows as soon as we are moving towards an all time high, more and more people are in the money, are in profit and now we're going up rapidly as well because um, we're moving towards the all time high and logically more and more people will be in the money. So I'm going to skip some of these which are not too interesting. That might be interesting here, number of large transactions, indicating that the daily number of on-chain transactions, which is greater than $100,000, and this is moving up. However, bear, what is interesting, we can't see as many, um, or we don't see that volume of large transactions that we saw before the last hard fork yet. Yeah, so we are it's a bit hard to see on that um, can i move make that larger let me take a look maybe not hmm. so what yeah I can so what we can actually see large transactions um we are currently at a level here and what you can see the black is the price black is the price and you can see where we were when we were at the all time high, we were up here and we are currently down here in with regards to large transactions, number of large transactions greater than 100,000. So whales are starting to buy, but it's not like it was before. Well, it could be that many people already bought and they're just holding, or it could mean that just large and institutional investors or just large investors haven't really started to focus on Cardano yet. So that means or indicates the best is still to come. Now, what else? Um, price, obviously, you know, average transaction size, that the average transaction size seems to stay at a certain level at the moment. It's not really moving up. Um, with regards to daily active addresses, we can see that since the increase in price, now a couple of weeks ago, we can see a lot of new addresses forming and coming up. That's obviously people getting more aware of Cardano. Maybe some of the skeptics don't know what they can do now. You know, they might buy some Cardano now because they realize, whoops, whatever I've been saying about Cardano was actually wrong. So these people are starting to buy, creating new addresses, buy Cardano for the first time. So that's moving up. But also with regards to new addresses, we are not at the level yet where we were when we were at the recent all time high. So it shows currently that we are maybe at 60% of the level where we were when we had the last all time high, indicating that still the best might be still to come. Total addresses, yeah, the number of total addresses with a balance is moving up as well slowly, but it is moving up. And as I said, I'm going to skip some of these number of transactions is moving up clearly as well. So you can see that here, the blue line on the right hand side, the number of transactions dropped significantly before we now started to move this um, to the upside. Yeah. So that's interesting. And number of transactions going up, but obviously as the volume is going up as well, and more and more people are buying, that's moving up as well, but not really a surprise. Here we can see when are people buying in which time zone. Um, that pretty much hasn't changed. Green shows east, no blue shows east, red shows west. And what does that mean? East means basically when um, is the percentage of transactions from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. UTC. And west is number of is percent of transactions from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. PM. Average time between transactions, not sure. Here's something interesting, the average time a token is held. So that's six months at the moment. So the average Cardano holder is holding the, uh, not the token, the, the coin for six months. And logically for me, that is going up, that must go up as Cardano is aging because Cardano hasn't been out for you know, that long. So the longer we still very early still, 
So the longer Cardano exists, that should go up really as well. Whales, low activity addresses, high activity. So with regards to whales, this is an address that owns more than 1% of the circulating supply. Yeah, and that's 1.49% at the moment. Concentration, which means you have investor volume, whale volume and retail volume. And it just means that a whale here is an address that owns more than 1% of the circulating su supply that we just looked at. Uh, an uh, investor is someone who owns between 0.1% and 1% of the circulating supply and retail is an address that owns less than 0.1%. So good for decentralization shows that most people are retail investors with 76, 77% of all um, ADA. And that's interesting as well, the ownership by time held. So how long have people been holding ADA? So this is split into holders or hodlers is blue, which um, who've been holding ADA for more than a year, cruisers between one and 12 months and traders lower than one month. And what we can clearly see is that most people, the traders have really gone in <laughs> before the last hard fork. And that's always what's happening, guys. That's always what's happening. When new price, when price increases are happening, traders are going in um, and then they are just holding, right? Because what happened eventually before the last, that's February, right? That's before the last hard fork on the 1st of March. Traders have been heavily buying, of course, because prices were going up then, moving towards new all-time highs um, before the actual all-time high now in May. But what's always happening when prices are going up, yeah, people are getting aware of a certain coin or a certain project. They are starting to buy and then the prices suddenly drop and then they, they just have to hold, otherwise they lose money. So um, that's interesting. And while, while for example, long-term hodlers who were massively in profit have been selling, right? And yeah, that's just interesting. So it indicates that retail investors or traders started to go in these guys have been holding ADA for just less than a month. They've, that means that they've been buying here, but then they've been holding because these traders then became cruisers. Yeah, that's why the cruisers are currently going up and these cruisers have not started to sell yet. And also what we can see the hodlers, people have been hold, holding them as well long term and probably some hodlers became, uh, some cruisers became hodlers as well. But mainly what you can see here, the most striking thing is that these traders who started to come in um, before the last hard fork, they became cruisers. Not necessarily they have been holding, uh, they, they have sold. It's not that they've sold that this has decreased, I believe. It is because the, hot, the, the traders that have been holding Cardano for less than a month, which indicates they've been buying here around January, February, they've been holding after the price then dropped or the price stayed the same level pretty much. Um, throughout or after the last hard fork and then they've been holding and then we've had that um, the all-time high obviously so it's pretty much stayed on one level but still new people came in it's still the same ratio here so it indicates as traders became cruisers to um, so that traders here became stayed on one level in percent it means that new traders came in because that's clear because when the price shoots up like it did before the last um, all-time high in May, new traders have been buying. But then they became um, cruisers as well. So people have been holding and holding. And at the moment, that ratio for the last three months has stayed the same. Long-term hodlers have not sold anything since then. So that stays on a very similar level. Yeah, so that's interesting to see that this is really the base, I think, of long-term hodlers that really are believing in the project and that wanna hold it for the long term, yeah? So I hope that was kind of clear. It's a bit difficult to understand because this is in percent, yeah? So it's just a ratio between all of them. But we can take a look at that in other videos as well. So here the actual number of hodlers, people holding Cardano for over a year. And as I just showed you, before the last hard fork, Hotlers have been selling, but they've now been accumulating. Well, not that they've been accumulating again, because you can't just become a hotler, but that's people who've 
held who were cruisers before and then they haven't sold so they are becoming hodlers so the number of hodlers is now at an not all-time high i can't really say that because this chart only starts in august 2020 but there are more hodlers now than there were a year ago and looking at cruisers as well most cruisers um started well most people start to become cruisers after the last hard fork which indicates that traders or people bought before the hard fork and then didn't sell but held it for longer than a month and then you're becoming a cruiser and that's now also pro probably you know at, at a high never had that many cruisers um, in the last 12 months so we actually have 1.5 million addresses of cruisers and a year ago we only had 186k so a lot more maybe 8x more something like that and number of traders again we can see before the last hard fork they bought they bought at the all-time high and now they are probably be either they they've been selling now or they've been um, holding and have been becoming cruisers interesting um I think that was one of the most significant and most interesting charts here. What else? Is there anything else? I mean, here it's interesting on this one. It's interesting to see it's the bid ask spread on certain exchanges. And you can see that there is a bit of a bid and ask spread on various exchanges. And it's also quite fluctuating. If I understand this chart correctly, it shows me that Binance, you get the lowest bid and ask spread. So if you want to buy Cardano, might be a good place to start on Binance because here you can get the lowest bid ask spread and it also seems to be less volatile than the others, you know, between the bid and the ask spread. So what that means is bid and ask, you've got basically a spread between the when you're buying and when you're selling, yeah? And the, the difference is normally uh, just, I don't know, it comes from the market and some exchanges, um, the spread between bid and ask also includes the fee. If you have a zero commission trading platform like eToro, then the spread is quite high because it includes the fee. I mean, they need to make some money from somewhere. So even though they say zero commission, um, they still make money from the spread. But that doesn't apply to some of these exchanges because most of these here, Binance, Bittrex, Bitfinex, they have a fee anyway. But it's just interesting to see that spread is quite low on Binance. Um, and here also interesting to see it's just the the sentiment and the, this is uh, created by AI artificial intelligence so they've got a tool that tracks the Twitter channel like the, the, the um, I believe this is the IOHK Carano Twitter channel and they just check the comments made and everything automatically yeah and come to a conclusion about what is sort of the sentiment is it more positive neutral or negative but actually what it shows is that the green I try to make it a bit larger but it's a bit slow this morning as well but it shows the sentiment has been going up more positive more into the green and um, that's quite interesting it means that really good comments and tweets are made about cardano so you can see that green line here that is basically the positive sentiment just shooting to the moon since um yeah since first of all since prices have been going up and then also since we've now had the confirmation about the date the um, hard fork date neutral as well and negative down there not many negative comments not a lot of negative sentiment so that's important to know as well and i believe that's what i wanted to show you today we can have a quick look if there's any more um but now it needs to load everything again i would say maybe for today or at least for this morning that's it um later in the day i'll make another update video as usual let me know if you want to see certain um, statistics, indicators, or if you have any improvement suggestions. There were a few in the last few videos and I tried to accommodate them. I hope you can see that. And let's take another look at the price, currently 215. And I hope you have a great day and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.